Rainia. Okay, yeah, hello, Rainian, and welcome back for more Phoenix Wright because I couldn't f like prepare the everything I needed for another thing I was originally going to. Stuff is working. Okay, this is going to be good. It's going to go great. Don't worry about it. I have something to drink. Also, I just got the mail that apparently my gift is being sent. Oh wait, when did you start playing this? Ah. Uh, Monday, I think, or was it Tuesday? Either two or three days ago. <laughs> so I played it once. Hold on, let me just grab because I forgot to put in my switch into the dock. Nya, nya, nya. Oh, thank you for the head pads. Nyarigato. Okay, I thought it was more. No, I have played one episode. <laughs> Are you stay off my throne, Zero? What do you mean, what uh, is my throne missing? Nothing. It's missing nothing. <laughs> Voice acting? Yeah. Absolutely. Your throne is missing grilled cheese. That's because it can't be put there because it will go bad. Allow me to just go here, put this switch in, uh, boop. Da da da. Da da da. Where's the controller? There it is. Ah ha ha ha. Real cheese. Oh, so much cheese. <laughs> Yeah! Or is it... Why no chilled grease, huh? Why no chilled grease? What if I want that, huh? 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 Blah, blah, blah. No, never again. <laughs> Why? Huh? Why? Also, I gotta switch over so you guys can see the game very soon. I refuse. <laughs> Is it because I can make a better chilled grease than you? Mm. Nya, 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 nya. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna switch now. Boo. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, wait, I have to go out of studio mode. Can you? working chilled grease does not deserve to exist <laughs> why what is wrong with chilled grease huh huh also did i play that yes i did okay i am ready i wait forgot to put on one thing for the heart rate monitors actually you know what skip it for today i'm tired <laughs> okay Hello? This is Maya. Hey Maya, it's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Stop going to my throne, Zero! It does not deserve to exist unlike my crippling addiction to throwing money at your throne. You're staying off my throne, you promised. Now stay off, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Ah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. Wait. Who was Maya? Who was Mia? Was Mia look I am so bad at it. <laughs> I didn't promise to stay off, just to stop throwing money at it. Proceed! So, the song is when that's thrown it. What? That is uh, not working out as a sentence. I'll get started on that. <laughs> I know, I know. You want me to hold the evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. 
I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. Always like toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. No, no. You know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I'll put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well... There's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9 to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright! It's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9.27 a.m. It looks like my little break is gonna be extending to next week. Actually, to my overlay because it's gonna be unable to today or this weekend, Sag. Ooh. But hey, you're gonna get it. That's gonna be amazing. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Fay and Co. Company? Law offices? Now, Miss Fay. I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why? I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, you are not cogniferous of my background. What the fuck does cogniferous mean, you pretentious prick? Working on making it animated? Ooh. Amazing. Gathering information is my business. I... I should have been more careful. Oh, my dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. What the fuck? Red, white, blue. Remember my old crayon style thumbnails from a few years back? Basically all week I have been dialing in how I wanted to animate it. Oh, I don't remember what it looked like, but I would like to see it again. So yeah. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Faye and Company Law Offices. Oh, wait! Mia! Mia was what? Oh! Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should go all out, all go out for dinner. What's that smell? What? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Examine. Let's I smell blood, and that can't be good. I have to check and see if yeah, if the chief is okay. I have to. Okay, so this is just the same. Okay. Move. The office. Okay, so that's how it works. That smell! Blood! It's... Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Chief! Yeah, hello late. I've Meister and Meister has appeared. God dang it! Ah! Did 
They sent old thumbnails in DMs. Heck yeah, I'll check them soon. Who are you? That the sister, maybe? Like, the one we're gonna come and get the thing? Strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Opening with a dad joke. You know what? I can't call your mom for the rest of the stream. Ha ha ha. Problem solved. <laughs> Gonna take a quick look at what Hero sent. Oh yeah! <laughs> nice. I can't wait to see what you're coming up with for your new one. You stay off my throne, mister! Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Finally, she was called. No! Chief. And they'll call me mom. I will call you mom anyway! Ugh. Hold on. Bleh. Okay, I kinda stuck at my tongue there. Eh. Okay, it doesn't work always. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Eh. <laughs> Can I turn to the... Chief's chair. A simple functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in too. How close here? What about that little... How close here? I wish I could look around more like in... Uh... Your escape. Here. All of this, but it makes a good bit of money. Here. What about on the computer? Surprisingly, the chief ne was never good with machines. About all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Wait. It's just the same thing. Subnet Subnautica seems to work fine for me. Heck yeah! But yeah. Right now I'm having a hard time deciding how to make the like follower similar widget look and where to place them. Ooh, maybe I can help you come up with ideas later. Because I also want to leave a space for my other OBS widgets and leave space for the collaborators to react to me. Yeah. I mean, you could make it like me and have ones that switch depending on like collaborating because this is my single player mode and then we have collaborator mode. Which just moves them and like only has some of them. Then if I want to switch back, boom. Works pretty darn good actually. <laughs> okay, what about this? All Chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah, because then you can switch out what is shown depending on what's sort of stream you're holding, so if it's collaborative one, you might not want to have all the, like, follow stuff and visible. But it depends. Right! I'd better call the police. Yes, now you get it, Phoenix! That's funny. The female screws and the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Please? Please, come quick! What, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Yeah, I would also be shocked. But I wouldn't scream. <laughs> okay, let's just keep going. Phone receiver is missing a few screws. I better not use it. Check out the chair. What about? I don't think there's anything else for me to look at. Oh wait, the fallen over. Maybe? No. Perfectly normal office desk. 
Chief had a very particular policy about office decor. And big on stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Rule, very good rule. But yeah, dialing in the animation style was hard. Yeah. Got an idea? You got an idea? Heck yeah, what's your idea? Yeah. I don't think there's anything else for me to click on here. I can't go anywhere. Oof. I'm gonna... There's not, nowhere for me to go. That girl is now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Oh, there she is. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um. Excuse me, bud. Who are you? It's okay. I work here. Hiya. Hiya, Faye. Hiya, Faye? Ah, ah, ah! Fuck. You and the Chief are sisters. So, you're the Chief's sister. I'm her youngest sister. We're here visiting. It's late at night. Phoenix, you were told she was gonna come here to visit! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, someone looks dead and someone... Could potentially be the killer still there. Let's scream! Complicated, but oh wait, and then boom, it moved up. But to be fair, ninety percent of the characters in the series are dumb as rocks. Yeah, basically just making three to six frames and then switching between them every second or two. Not very complicated, but getting the timing down to a bit for just one of the things. Yeah, we're here visiting this late at night. Yeah, I said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence. Yes. What's that clock? That's the thinker. Just to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um. Excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. Dark. Yes. Sis. She was already dead. Sent my badge. Oh, sorry, I've never seen that before. Okay. So, can I talk about anything else? What the heck do I do? There's no more clues. Also, guess who's getting Americanized Chinese food for breakfast? You are. <laughs> For all meals. Because I don't want to cook today. And I don't want to eat more than a single meal. <laughs> okay, let's go back here and see if we can look around. You couldn't cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. You can gaze upon the shelves without feeling insignificant. It was here. No, Tom. Who the heck is Tom? Small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. Reception desk. I usually sit here. Uh huh. This is no place for clients. Never. A real luxury model. Large painting. I guess you'd call this modern art. I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, I love us. Uh, modern art is a mistake, but it's a funny one. Anything else here? On the desk? Gotcha. And I can't look at this. Gotcha. Go to the chief's office. Light you don't open. I better not touch the door, no. I better not touch it, so I can't research it. What the heck can I do here? So, this is just a simple... 
Okay, I don't know what to do here. Okay, I am. Good. <laughs> I'm the cat friend friend of Jerry the mouse. Wait, to are Tom and Jerry friends? What explain why he never actually catches Jerry? Makes sense. I don't know what I'm missing. There's nowhere else to fit a book. Spike is friends with Tom? Huh. And who's Spike? Guys, am I blind? Am I missing something really, really obvious? I was so confused. Hey. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there were any clues here, she was struck on the head by a blunt object. She probably died in the thinker lying next to her must have been the murder one. Hmm. There's some glass shards near the sheep's body. Must be pieces of a glass light then lying broken in the back of a room. Nothing else. That seems like a clue here. Hmm? Piece of paper! It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Maya? What is written in blood on this scrap of paper? Maya. Ever write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Wait a second. Maya! Are you trying to tell us something about that girl? Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Lady got Tom only because Jerry was there. So if Tom got rid of Jerry, the lady would have no reason to keep Tom anymore. Oh, she would still have a reason to keep him because like rats has a tendency to come back. So she's getting him not specifically for Jerry, but for any rats or mouse. But yeah. Yes, you're blind, but that's directly related to Smooth Brain. True, true. There's one specific episode where the owners go on vacation and Tom, Jerry and Spike is fucking vibe together. The whole episode is just them being incredibly wholesome bros. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> I think I better show her this receipt. I never thought there would be just for evidence like this outside of a courtroom. What? I might think- I may be thinking that Phoenix may be fucking stupid. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out that what that girl was doing here. Do you know what she was doing here? Because she was expected to be here. God damn it. Phoenix, you dumb piece of poo poo. Let's start with the receipt. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. But that, that's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just, please, just calm down. Why would she just write my name? Uh, now that I've done it. Maybe stupid now, pretty much everyone in that world are moronic. Okay, fair enough. Please, sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, please. Alright, I'm Detective Dick. <laughs> I'm Protective Dick. 
I did take it. Fuck! I can't. I'm a. God, I can't speak. <laughs> All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. You don't think Dick is a weird name? Received a report from a building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Yes, sir, right that way, cross the door. That's it behind you. That G should be a C. No, 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 none of that unholy thing in this house of, well, this is not the house of God, but you get the thing. I need something to drink, hold on. The fact that it took a few seconds. Ah, shut up. I had to imagine the word in my head, okay? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you either of you moving one inch, okay? Alright, no such stuff in Nose Church of Purity and Innocence. Ah, shut up! But not pure nor innocent. You know what? Yeah, let's go with whatever! <laughs> Great, just great. Oh yeah, wait. It wouldn't have... Uh. Whoa! Excuse me. <coughs> this word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that's... That's my name. What? What? The victim drew this here note. This here note in her own blood, say. Her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Hello? I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to the prison, madam. What? What? Yeah, he dumb as rocks. Mia's younger sister Maya was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 9 a.m. Detention center. Visitors... Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Poor Maya. See, dumber than a fucking rock. Yeah. Happy birthday. What do you mean, happy birthday? My birthday was three months ago. What? Oh! Oh! It's you! The lawyer? Good morning! Good morning! Looks so tired. Um... Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's up to you. Or, of course I will. It's up to you. It's her choice. I'd better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Uh, me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never going. Are they? And you, when you found me in the office, looked at me like I had done it. I look at her like that? No, no, I never fought. Okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? But what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Happy f about three months since birthday. What do you mean, sir? No. What? No, that's not the command. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How did that? How'd that go? It was quite a scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! So, he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike their fear into the hearts of evil types. Only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh. Sounds like
look, it was fun. Well, I know who, who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Eh? That's what she said! <laughs> ah, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. Uh, but at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Let's examine. We have a camera. Smile for the camera. Guard monitors the visitors. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. And nothing to say about that. Okay. Talk. Something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? With that I've outfit. Oh, this. What all acolytes wear. A uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Hey, would you bonk me, Mjölnir? Why'd you bonk me? Oh, thank you for the hydrate, though. But why'd you bonk me, huh? Huh? I'm being a good, respectable lawyer who is also very much breaking the rules by helping out friends and stuff. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I'm maybe... Maybe I'm not such a respectable lawyer. Anyway! <laughs> uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it that you do? Oh! It's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. Uh, spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me more about the day of the murder? Yes! Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to go hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes! That looks shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a, in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yeah. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. That is genius. Recording it and then forgetting to delete it, so it's always there. <laughs> so, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right! Oh! I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. That's standard procedure. Next time I see the detective Gamshu, I'll ask him for him. For it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court records. So, you're an acolyte. A, er, uh, medium in training? That's right. Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So, Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I... I had no idea. Hmm... Wait! What? So, you're a real deal, honest to goodness spirit medium, with ESP and all that. Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? Yes, Oscar killed her. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Um. Huh? Nothing the matter? Um. I was wondering. Could I ask you a favor? The 
address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. I think you could go ask him to represent me. Of course. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? I... I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. Girls tomorrow at 10 a.m. What? Tomorrow? Yeah, that is really ace, isn't it? Tomorrow? What if this guy refuses? They told me if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Okay, I is not. Let's see if it just says the same thing. Yes. Okay, I should probably have voice acted that. Sorry, I thought it was gonna be like nothing new. <laughs> then I gotta ask that for it. Uh, anyway, we're going back. We're going to save. <clears throat> and we're gonna move to Grossberg Law Office. Okay. Well, this is some overly fancy schmancy pansy stuff. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. You couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Really? The painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The old paint is so thick that it's practically giving me the stuff the stuff most. Oh yeah. I sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Huh. Solid mahogany gate. Books been polished to a deep luster. Feels like the dude is one of those. Not as good as he talks. Type of person. From like the feel of a room. A table for clients. Hmm. Elegant upon a case. And if I'm not mistaken, the light is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here got money to burn. Yeah, that that dude is just overly bunchy. bunchy. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. It's ugly as fuck. Let's go back. Office filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there. This is a crime seal, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're the butts guy, aren't you? No? I'm Phoenix! No, no! Phoenix right. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. You're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Oh, right. And you were... <laughs> Gumtree. <laughs> Isn't Gumtree like a website for like selling used stuff? What do you expect from a dude with shits for brain? Where Detective Gumshoe... Um, Gumshoe wasn't it. Dick Gumshoe. Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Yes, sir. 
be right there. <clears throat> you're here. You're a lawyer, right, pal? You got business here. You could better do it quick. Oh, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. What do you expect from a dude who shit for brain? Nothing. I should expect nothing from that guy. His favorite pop for the plants. I remember that he had. It had this bizarre name that no one could ever remember. Borderline Stricta, pal. Who was that? Wait, was that Dick? Old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Should call him Beach. <laughs> yeah, Beach for brains. He has this. Perfectly clean as always. Only thing that is missing is yeah. There's a horrendous amount of illegal dog books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read read all of these. Okay, so talk. About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Yeah? But don't you look at me like that, pal. No use. You might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Thank you. I'm a lawyer, so I'm gonna need this sort of stuff for tomorrow's cave. Autopsy report added to the court record. <clears throat> um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. You just accused her with zero evidence. Like, the closest thing to evidence is her being in the room. That's not evidence. Why do you say that? It is put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. That sounds familiar, that name. I'm sure you know what that means, you being lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid it's pretty much decides the case. So Edgework is on this Edgeworth is on this one. Hello again, Maestro. <laughs> yeah. These guys are so eager to get the wrong person. Yeah, I know. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are more rumors. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with almost an abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. I need to do? Is there anything I need to present? Can I present this? I was wondering, did you see my affair's cell phone? Oh that, I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Or, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. Tell him straight. Tell him why I want, there's no way he'll give it to me. <laughs> Something the matter? Oh no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers up on it, like a boyfriend. Cell phone holds a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secret. You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. Quite a detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here, you can have a phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Not so good of a detective now, I see. <laughs> Maya's cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Check the court record. Every recorded conversation. 
I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyer ways, pal. I think she should be allowed to talk to a lawyer before the actual trial. That's like, isn't that common fucking sense? Kind to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Hey, huh? So you sent her home already then? <laughs> You're trying all of your little tricks on me now. She's not going outside the room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel room across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get detective to leave the station. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss Faye. I don't think there's anything else I need from you because you're quite a bit of a moron, Mr. Gumshoe. Gumshoe is not good at his job. No, he should be fired. Number 6, Gateway Hotel, room 303. Well, hello there, hun. Um, hi. Do you not recognize me from thinking that I murdered the lady? Smooth, right? Real smooth. You have a lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. So don't say nothing to that liar, pal. <laughs> Not yourself. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> How are you not fucking traumatized? You just witnessed a fucking murder. Oh, well, not a fucking murder, but the aftermath of a fucking murder. Lady, are you okay in the head? Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of a beautiful eyewitness. I pick the lawyer that has to cross examine this one. Same! Like, what the fuck? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. Hmm? Remember that phone that looked like someone had tried to take part, like, take it apart? I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Not touching! Oh, bad boy! You, you really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Drawer. Hmm. You think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed the time of, at the time of the incident. Oh, observe? Incident? It's a lot, just like a lawyer from... Eh, hold on, I need to drink a little bit. <laughs> I need to stop looking for these people to have uh, common sense in any shape or form. <clears throat> oh, absurd incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, <clears throat> I do not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occur, um, happened the other day? bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please? Let me see, um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you... Yes, that's exactly who, who are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? N no, no, no. Hey, I'm here. I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed, blushed this mouth. Much. Jeez! Um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no, 
<laughs> and if you have your little hopes up to the Oh boy. I said there are two glasses on the table. I was staying in here with you. Oh! What an amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh no, not me, I'm a just lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues? Garbage. Hmm? This May doesn't like nosy little liars. <laughs> oh boy. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's a famed company law office is building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Oh. A simple bed. From recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. A bottle and two glasses on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Yep. Flower, flowers are fake, as expected. I know some flowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Hmm. What's inside, I wonder? <clears throat> Maybe later. Back to the adventure center. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Yes, but I still have her phone first. Hey, my says. Yeah, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well... Actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What is it this time? A clock. Made you look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? Not working? That's lame! I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Oh, fuck, I'll, I went back. Car. Uh, I'll leave that one up to your imagination. See tonight at 9. The like common sense of your tentagens from pretty much anyone in this world is like trying to squeeze water out of a rock. <laughs> Let's see if he's coming in. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Ahem! But that wasn't the most of a top clearing off the throat I've ever heard. Aha! So you have one they say has been looking for me. Uh, y y yes, that's me. It's even grander than I imagined. Hmm? The badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, aren't you now? Yes, well, yes. Now uh, what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Something the murder? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it! Um, well, sir, actually it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Oh? Oh! Well, you changed real quickly. Ah, uh, yes. Maya Faye, go on. Mm, why the strange reaction? Oh, cha cha. I'm real quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. But wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? <clears throat> uh, anyway. I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. 
Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got the chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Funny thing is when one character says something that makes her go, oh, this one might not be dumb. Only to say something right after that made you react. But never mind, forget I said anything. Yeah. <laughs> How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm. Uh, um. Oh, is it just... I'm busy. You just said you weren't busy, you piece of lying garbage. But the client is Mia Fey's sister. Um. <clears throat> Miss Mia, tr Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes. Of course I know that. Uh, however, I'm uh, sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Bye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What did you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth his salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... <clears throat> I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I've done nothing... I've nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in a blink of an eye. Left one day, quite suddenly. He had a mission, you see. A mission? Is it with being the prosecutor? I don't remember, actually. I watched a gameplay on this long ago, but I can't remember who the prosecutor was. Oh, the prosecutor. It's it's Edgeworth. It's Ed Edgeworth. They're all terrified of Edgeworth or something. You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha! You noticed? It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The colour of the sky, the hue of the sea, the waves of a straw hat. Watson. Doesn't look like a sea anywhere. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention with parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. All right, how the fuck did I forget that? I don't know. <laughs> it's, I guess he might be a forgetful character, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. What happens if I try to give this guy this? I'm very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. Well, screw you then, Mr. Dick Face. Mr. Pussy Boy, I'm leaving you alone now because you're useless. Going to detention center. Honestly, he's pretty dumb in the other games as well, so I don't understand why so many are terrified of him. Yeah. I don't understand why you would be terrified of opposition. Okay. Hiya! Oh! You're back! Did you find a lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? <clears throat> we'll see. Just be honest. Yep. I... I really don't think you should use that guy. Doesn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Uh. Don't mean. Is to help? Er. I see. I've been abandoned. No! I'm on your side, young lady! I am on your side! God damn it! What about the rest of your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I 
very young. I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? She could still be alive. Could be. The women in my family have a new... There's a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an... ...accident. It was a man and he... ...ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that... Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I got used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. So, who was this man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of lead. They were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? This convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow. So, what happened? Solved. But... What? When my mother helped, capture was... This consultation with had all been carried out as course, but the man found out about it and leaked it to the press. I told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on, on it big time. My mother became a laughing stock of a an... I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? I'm getting a little lower now before my state appointed lawyer comes to this. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Offer my services! And Maya. I made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... Someone else is the culprit, obviously. You aren't the culprit, someone else is. H how would you know? I, um, have a hunch. Given the evidence, it would be an easy... It would be easy to assume that Maya was the killer. Well, no, 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 no. No, it would not, because there's no proper evidence of it. <laughs> But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. That witnesses strange behavior? Is that all an act? Yeah. And the way the lawyer refused to help out Maya? More than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know, I've been there a long, long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Someone has to look out for to have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Yeah. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. R right, thank you. Phew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You're innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. Did you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Guess what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There was, has to be something in there. Yup, all the evidence is circumstantial at best. Exactly! It's circumstantial at best. So. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Ah, oh, I beg your pardon, sir. 
I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May maybe might be? Uh, I believe our girl, our uh, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using her facilities. If you have no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Then, who ordered room service if he's using other facilities? Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no! Hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing my- Wait, now is my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, uh, I almost forgot. Ah! Y you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Tell her about Mr. White of a blue corp phone? Oh, Mr. White, you say? What timing, sir? Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? Maya just fucking told you! God, you dub. White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of a guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be that a coincidence? I think not! The screwdriver is sticking out of that half open drawer. drawer. Now is my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? Uh, a wiretap? Mm hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Uh, she put it in the phone to listen to their conversation. Uh. But they will take the tiniest evidence that will be the whole fucking centerpiece for a trial. Then when it's been proven to be false, they then hang on any other tiny circumstantial evidence. Pop up during the trial, like everything the prosecutor says is solid no matter what, while the defendant needs to prove everything without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, that is so fucking stupid. Should be the other way around. If anything. Like, you should have to prove someone, when you're like, accusing someone, that this is without the shadow of a doubt, the thing that is true. Not the, not the defendant should that. You can't prove a negative. In some case. Uh, what would a woman like her be doing with something like this? White tap added to the court record. There is definitely something suspicious about this, this May. Why would she have something like this on her, her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. All right, I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For your sake, I'll get this woman's... I'll get to this woman's bottom! Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy. Still there? Uh oh, time to scram. I look forward to take... Tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. To be continued. Yeah. So that was day day two, episode two. No, day one, and now we're gonna to trial. I guess the trial is gonna take a little while too. And that's once the trial's over, the end of chapter. District Court, courtroom number one, 10 a.m. Ah, Edgeworth! <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I'd better not show any signs of weakness today or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of a crime. So was I, sir. The prosecution has evidence that she committed this murder. And we have witness saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. We may call our first witness, Your Honor. Prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe, 
well, 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 if this is an all, all nemesis, Miles Edgelord. <laughs> oh no, it's Miles Edge work because it's a piece of fun. <laughs> Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name is Dick Gamshu, sir. I'm a detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, precinct sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of his murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepted the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh yeah, because it's the same one. Or well, it's it's not maybe the it's probably not the exact same one. It's just a he made two. Same type? I don't know what call it. More plans added to the court record. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. No, detective. Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had ev I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. The piece of paper. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. Defendant Miss Maya Fay and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of her murder. Hmm. But I was, I was the one who was by the body at the time she called about the murder, not Miss Maya Fay. Hmm. The very moment you say. Very well, Miss Wright. You may begin your cross examination. Y yes, Your Honor. Cross examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony, but I can because. I heard when she yelled out about the murder, I was the one that was next to the body. Oosh. Smack! Hey, Maya threw something at me. What's this? Well, my sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness testimony. She would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witnesses always slips up and says something wrong. Worked lots of times. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. Defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Miss Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why, we had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fai at the very moment of the murder. I'll just have to take Maya's advice and press him on anything suspicious. Press. Why is that? What's your reason? Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of a murder. Hold on just one second. Y yeah? I, if I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? I say that? Me? Yes, you did. I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about this 
exactly what about this suspicious woman in this pink claim in pink's claim was hard evidence what, what? this may isn't suspicious and she's sure ain't pink pal you got a crush on her or something well yes she's pink that's enough detective gumshoe do you have any more solid proof other than her claims detective um i guess pressing can have its advantages yes ah sorry i got an order of things mixed up in my testimony your honor sir there was something i should have told you about first your honor very well detective let's hear your testimony again now he's gonna bring up the bloody paper after securing the suspect examining the scene in a cr of a crime with my own eyes i found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body on it the word maya was written clearly in blood Their test results show that the blood was the victim's also there was blood found on the victim's finger before she died, the victim wrote to kill his name. Hmm. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. That's not even hard evidence! That's like the thing that should start like grabbing the attention of like, oh, that's who we should, you know, investigate. God, about as hard as cotton. Exactly. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y your Honor? Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, eh, I know, I'm a real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Hmm. So we do have... test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Blood found on the victim's finger. That the thing I have to Now it does look like it could be written with fingers. But what's with the dots at the end? Death was instantaneous. Oh Instantaneous death. You can't write something if you instantly die. Detective Gumshoe. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Miss Faye, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Faye. That's really what you're saying. What? This isn't one of our lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course you wrote it. Who else could have? The actual murderer to, you know... Accuse Maya? Falsely? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. 
This is a report from your department, Detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But... No but in your way out of this one, Detective. Order. Order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when it, when exactly did you obtain that autopsy? What, what, when? The day of the murder? Or the day after? <gasps> the day after the murder, right? No, wait. Yeah, the day after. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? what? The second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. That was the same day! Death was almost immediately due to blow from a blunt object. But there is a possibility that the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. Uh, no, no way. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Why, Miss Wright? You look shocked. Is something you want to say? The detective's a sham. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham. How could you give me a faulty report? Huh? Uh, I thought... Detective Gumshoe... Or... I'm disappointed in you, handing them the wrong report like that. I... I... Sorry, sir. You are at fault, Detective. This isn't going to look good on your... Evaluation next month. But what? But. but uh. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. Wait. Don't all the evidence have to be submitted beforehand? I really can't with the intelligence of the people in this world. Me neither. Me neither. Autopsy report updated in the court record. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests that the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Yes, IRL, but in this world, anything fucking goes. Yeah. Fucking anything goes. God fucking damn it. Uh, darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Aha! Hello, Mrs. May. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. What exactly part? What exactly what part of her is innocent? Also, her name is literally April May. Like two months. She's named after two months. Not just one was enough. What more? Is her middle name Mars? Ah! Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so I'm so spooked! Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome, Raiders! Thank you so much for Raid! Storebot lore! I hope you're having a awesome time today! What were you playing? Limbus Company? Oh, what is that? I, I need to Google that. I am in the middle of a court trial, as you can see! Raid! Yes! Atari! Nyahara! Thank you for the egg pads! The Hansa Cliff is real! What is the Hans Cliff? The suspect was once seen handling a knife 20 years ago, therefore my, they must be the murderer. This is the kind of logic they use. Yeah, they... <laughs> oh, is this one with the coffee guy? Wait, what's, who's the coffee guy? I'm playing this for the first time ever, I'm not gonna lie. Horses are not real. Where? What? Nay. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Please enjoy. 
Yes. But third, this is third. Ah, thank you so much for following! Vaporeon fanboy! Oh my god! Have you seen the Vaporeon meme? Have you seen the Vaporeon meme? <laughs> Don't worry now, you will notice. I will notice what? Yeah? Now, I watched an actual lawyer play through this game, and let me tell you, he was ripping their logic apart. Yes, oh my god. Let's see if we can do the same. <laughs> best name, by the way. Yes, best name. Femboy. <gasps> Femboy Vaporeon. I wonder, like, if you drew that as... What's it called? Moemon, Moemon style? I wonder what that would look like. Is Cop... Hoping, because he know, has Wild Hunt Heathcliff. Oh, that tells me nothing! I'm so confused! Who's Heathcliff? <laughs> what is... What? Tell me more, but I'm gonna keep going while while you're telling me. <laughs> Basically, bad gotcha. Ah... Okay, w wait. Limbus Company gotcha, I guess? Is that a gotcha game? Because that's what you were playing. Witness, your name, please. April, May. At your service. Yep. Okay. Copium and gambler. Well, I gambled in uh, Genshin, so I can't really... You know how fucking hard I tried to get Kirara? It, I got so frustrated the first time I tried to get her that I quit playing for months until she came back. And then I came, then I came back and now I'm addicted to Genshin again. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Oh, yes, your honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. No Kirara, Sag. I got her! I actually got her eventually, thanks to the summertime event. I have like 130 and 140 poles for a unique event called Walpurgis Night. Wait, what is that? That sounds... Okay, that doesn't tell me much, apparently, because that's a real-life thing. I don't think it is the winking that got people's attention. No, it was her squeezing... It. Her going like... Ah! 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 <laughs> Limited event. Gotcha. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room. <laughs> Checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fane Company Law Offices. Mm -hmm. That's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. In a normal manner, miss. <laughs> Making a woo no noises in court is a new method. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. It was like uh, nine at n at night. I looked out the window, you know, and there, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And then the woman like dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. Then a woman with the long hair. He kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. What is with the cat while she does words? I wonder that too. Who stands like... Who just stands like this? Like this. All the time. Like, ah, yes, yes. I always stand like this. Oh, wait. Actually, autistic people do. Never mind. <laughs> Some autistic people have this stance, apparently. Uh... Where they sort of have their, like, not quite all the way up. Usually, it's usually like, it, they call it dino hands. Like, I think if you search dino hands in or something, it could show up. Yeah, you can probably count her brain cells in one hand, yes. That's like 86% chat, and even she doesn't do it with her hands. Exactly! Hey! Okay, I went meowing to the random lady at the store. I can't say no exactly. Permanent e-girl mode, yep. Hmm. Well, Your Honor, I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see any need to trouble the witness any... Oh, wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? I 
thought the witness testimony no, just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand that you were Miss Faye's understudy, were you not? Or me, Miss Mia Faye's understudy. You must know her techniques quite well. A covered way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimony. If they're perfectly good, they will hold up against the questions. Uh, hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Well, you may begin your cross-examination. Because the thing is, the one she saw next to the body was me when she was calling. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know, and then... Ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. And the one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she cut up to her and she hit her. Nothing really jumps out. Yeah, I need to press the facts. The woman with long hair, that was Miss Mia Fey. Mm-hmm. Slender, sort of. Well, some people might say pretty if that's your thing. Your thing? And a person attacking her. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And then the woman was like, dodged to one side. <clears throat> How do you say? He dodged? Dodged what? Well, the attack! Please continue your testimony. But that girl, she cut up to her and... and she hit her! How did you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... me! First of all, she had a girl's physique. And secondly, she was... she was small. Who else could it be but her? It has a point. I question your te testimony. Hold on a minute, that testimony stinks! What? Yes, May. I'm willing to bet that you're lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? This is why are you questioning me? I'm right. <laughs> yes. What is the meaning? Somebody. Tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Oh. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. We do, because I was with her. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Ah! What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I I saw what I saw. I just didn't think of all the traveling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. <laughs> this is so stupid. <clears throat> I did see everything. I did. The victim. The woman dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. And then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That, that clock. Um, kind of statue clock. The thing kind of it. How would you know it's a clock? No one has called it a clock. And I can't question you here yet. Well, does that accuracy of my report not start here? 
You're not very bright, like. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. And no one's noting this. Press. Ah, look. Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Yeah, my very first one. <laughs> Gosh. But, well, don't look so sour, Mr. Liar. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. How did you know? It was a clock. She shouldn't know because it doesn't look like a clock. She can't hear it speak. Objection. Miss May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Naughty Mr. Liar. You just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. You better care back on the <laughs> Okay, I, I will do it. Do you want me to do it in the ego voice? <laughs> in the in April May's voice? <clears throat> You've been a bad girl, Momo. Do it. <laughs> yeah. You've been a bad girl, Momo. I hope you're happy. <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah. There's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Ah, another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Order. Order. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, uh saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. No, because she's lying about the evidence. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. I will not. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. As you may recall, I've caught the murderers with these questions before. Well, only once, exactly. Objection sustained. You may continue questioning the, wist questioning the witness. I'm gonna try to sober up too many drinks today. Yeah, you try to sober. Drink lots of water. Normal water, not vodka, okay? Have a, and have a sandwich or something. Or ramen. Ramen is really good to sober up. Yeah, that was close. If you stopped me there, the trial would have been, would be, would have been over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? Th that's... Because I heard it? Yes! I heard it say the time! So, you've been to the law offices of Faye and Company? N no! Hey, I didn't say that! Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room! <laughs> no way to do that! The law offices of Faye and Staying company where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. You could easily have heard a clock. No. No, you cannot. Gotcha. I will do it right now. Heck yeah. Good job. You go do that. Good girl. <laughs> Popping in to remind everyone that you're all amazing people, adorable beans, and a bunch of cuties. Yes. Yeah, got those all clear. Coming with the good vibes as always. Yeah. She could have easily heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mr. Bright, are you satisfied? No. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't have heard it. It couldn't have rung. Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. It is empty. Clock is missing its clockwork. Uh, how could you possibly? Just take a look right now. Oh, 
See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Fat? Well, Miss May. Ch -ch -ch. Hmm? Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. You, the clock was empty? Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? Before the murder. Because I have the, I have the proof of it. If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. You're wrong. You're wrong. Mm-hmm. You removed it beforehand. Hmm, that's true. That's a po that is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Wait, can I... Can I actually give? No, I cannot use it right now. Doesn't give me... Edgeworth just trying to use his high charisma to win the judge over. Yes. And his high charisma is only working in this world. For magical bullshit reasons. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright. Can you prove when the clockwork was removed? I can, Your Honor. <laughs> Impossible, of course. I have proof. What? What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves then when the clockwork uh, was removed is... Take, that! <clears throat> Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Uh-huh, you have a girly phone. But oh, wait, Th this isn't my phone. Listen. This isn't the, this is the defendant's cell phone and it contains a recording. A recording of the conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. <laughs> About the clock specifically. Order. Order. The defendant's cell phone. Th this wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gamshoe overlooked it. <laughs> the good detective could remember he's up for it. <laughs> I am trying to grumble the I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for a big fella. Let's hear the conversation. So you wa just want me to hold on to the thing for you then? Oh wait, wrong voice. So you just want to, me to hold on to the thinker for now? Uh, if you... If you... <clears throat> if you could... Ah, uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. Never feel bad for Gumshoe, his weaponized incompetence hurts innocent people. Yes. That's true, that's also very true. Your Honor. I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness arrived at her hotel. Hmm? Ma mama? Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that the weapon was a clock? Yes, I saw the clock before. Um, <clears throat> what store was that again? I I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Doesn't work because it's not sold in a store. <clears throat> so the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objector objections, Mr. Wright? Yes. 
The witness claims she had seen it before, but this directly contradictory piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove a witness had not seen the clock before. proof. Huh? Please. Hey! Why you bonk me, Badger? Yeah! The clock itself, right? Picking custom made. Oh, right! You, you're right. Obvious. Hmm. Perhaps the defense would like to change its mind. Please produce. Yeah. And that makes sense. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's simple. This clock was never in any store. Ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. I impossible! Everything is sold in stories. No. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> oh? Excuse is not on sale today. Oh? Oh, ho, ho. to you, porcupine head. What stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it! And she should die for it! Die! Yeah, I thought you wrote the very random thing in wrong stream. Wrong stream! <laughs> whoa, 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 Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This, this is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. <laughs> Oh, 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 silly me. Uh, did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah, <laughs> it's scary to change like that. <clears throat> Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this? behavior. Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. This April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you had heard about it. Witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. Heard. That is correct, Your Honor. There's no other way that she could have known that the finger was a clock. Oh, thank you for the hydrate! Yarigata! I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me the evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. The wiretap. Now it's time for it. Have a look at this. Ah! Oh! Th that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. It's April May. You were tapping the victim, Miss Maya, Mia Fey's phone, were you not? Oh! Oh! Your Honor, this is irrelevant. How the fuck is this irrelevant, Edgeworth? I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection over objection over rule troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous! Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is it, it is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Do you, can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. 
the proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Here. It's... Is it just this? Hold on. A presented defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, this... Well, actually, there's something I want to hold you to hold on to for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like a statue. Thinker. And it tells you the time. It's April, May. You used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the Thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Objection. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? Defense demands an answer. Uh, uh, ah! Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May, shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you liar. That's a true face. It's not fair! All of you g ganging up on me like that! Oh, so I'm the bad girl? Is that it? Is that it? Uh... 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 That did it. The court seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal with the final blow. Your partner did it, didn't ya? Why the wiretap? <clears throat> Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. I have to... Yes! You're in court for God's sake! No, yes, now shut the fuck up. <laughs> Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't Tippity tapping it irrelevant? Yeah, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. It's May. You were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Let's go. While the court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Hey, why are you complaining about my tone of voice? Huh? Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder? Even though you tapped her phone. Ha! Huh, I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought of that. And of course, I can, and I will. Can't be serious, no way. Way I say, way. Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, so the killing happened around nine at night. Why? That's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Ice coffee, I believe it was. Ice coffee? You know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. Like, since wiretapping the victim would make you the prime suspect. Yeah, exactly. Also, thank you for the... For red pads! Arigato! Uh, ice coffee? I think I'm, I think I'm making this up. Ask the bellboy! Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of a murder. But then the, her entire argument falls apart to begin with. Because if she was not at the scene of the murder... Like... Wait, there were two glasses in a room. Okay, now now I see what I mean. Like, she wasn't the one to do the murder. However, she lied about her testimony. There was two glasses, so she definitely has a... Uh, oh, 
Coworker is not the right word in this. Uh, also check with the bellboy before saying this is the truth. Yeah. It is my greatest pleasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Are you sure about that, Edgeworth? Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Fay, commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. No way I can win this unless I time is made to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Come on, think of something. Oh, call the bellboy as witness. Fans would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk it quite low enough already. Objection. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What reason? What, why? What's your reason? Because I hold that wiretapping had nothing to do... I hold... I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. This is still relevant because we need to prove that she's not lying. Or that she is lying. However, if you do agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fe- No, that is not an acceptable fucking- No! You can't just be like, oh yeah, if you call them, like, this means you automatically assume that your- the, Your defendant is guilty. Like, no, that's not how this fucking works, you dumb piece of garbage. That is my condition. What? I'd be better finding something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Hmm. Yeah, Edgeworth straight up cannot do that exactly. Also, check with this bellboy before saying this is the truth. Everything she said so far has been wrong, and yet she still says that Maya was seen doing the killing. You see what I mean with the logic on how the court system works? It's just complete ass backwards and all messed up. Yeah, it's so messed up. Accept the condition, because that's, that's the only way. Alright, I got nothing to lose, except for, well, everything. Then I call it today. Have a great rest of your stream. Thank you so much! Thank you so much for joining! I hope you're having an awesome night! You rest up now, Lord of Cell. Yes. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Understood. I accept your condition. <laughs> oh. Go right into my trap. Uh oh. Uh, um, wait. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the test. For a witness to testify, well, sir, he certainly does not. Yeah, he certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. The tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his. How the fuck do you call them in the middle of service and they just bring like their stuff? No, you would put shit down before you leave. Unless there's something there you don't want to find. Very good, sir. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gate Water Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her precisely was the time, of course. Let me deliver the ice coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right. I'm ready. I hope. 
it. Okay, I need to do a save because I have a feeling I'll punch up. Can you fail in this? This is it. If I can't promise May was involved with the murder now, Maya will be finished. I am the head bellboy at a fine Gateford hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest Miss May. Why so early? Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, I also heard her voice. Then I saw them, and I... <clears throat> er... <clears throat> the point being, I remember it quite well, sir. So, them. And he was blushing a lot, I guess. He was thinking they were having some... Mm, noitus coitus. <laughs> I honestly want to go full Batman mode on their asses. Yeah. Same. Yes, what then? Ask for a nice coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely requested time, of course. Precisely nine. Wait, why wasn't he aware of murder then? Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought to them. Oh, bellboy, it's he. I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly nine. Stuff like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of nine, sir. How would you be so particular about the time? She's the only innocent person is in this room. Yeah! Fucking really, that's no way, except like the defendants and us. <laughs> so it's like the only innocent people in this room, literally. Phoenix, uh, Maya, and the judge. And everyone else is just so fucking stupidly. St very stupidly evil, almost. The judge is also immoral. <laughs> yeah. Petition, shrimps, testimony should not be valid. Yeah. Okay, let's ask for more information. What exactly is it that you do at the hotel? Why? Anything required of me, sir? I check in guests, I check out guests, I clean rooms, I make beds. I even deliver room service, sir. I check this main personally. Are you always so... so prim? Mr. Wright, we'll refrain from asking frivolous questions. Hey, this taught me important stuff. Hmm... It was Miss April May herself. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, wh when I brought the room service, sir, she, she the guest, sir, fa favored me with an embrasser, sir. Embrace. Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not the French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. But why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. <laughs> it's so cute. God damn. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. It sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good, there's nothing there. Is is that it? No! <laughs> no, no, no! Tsk, tsk. Finally, you understand. Bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, unless he favors her because, you know, he's not impartial. 
or whatever it's called. Now, Phoenix definitely snuck into her room together and evidence like, oh yeah, we're not innocent. We also testified for a friend, which, or not testified, we, we defended a friend in court, which I don't think you're allowed to do because that means you can lie and stuff. You're more likely to lie if you're someone you know. Um, sorry, Mr. Bellboy, but she a hoe and not in the garden too. <laughs> If you have any decency, we'll end this rather tedious cross-examination cross here. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. Witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest. But wait, please wait. Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. She belongs to the streets, not the and the jailhouse. Yeah. <laughs> I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. You call this a charade of justice? What you are do doing is a charade of justice. We broke down every argument, proved that your witness is a fucking liar, and you still be like, oh, but she only lied about those things. And there's no way you can prove that she lied about the other stuff. Blah blah blah. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Miss Bright. I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. It's really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Or I, I don't have stayed here. Oh my god. Wait. There were two people. Bed make check. Did only she check? No. The room service. Yes, there were two glasses of wine. T -t Tell me again about the room service. Again, sir. At exactly nine, I delivered room service to Mr. Room. The guest had requested an iced coffee. Eighteen dollars was the charge, as I recall. I see. Eighteen. Eighteen dollars? Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yes, well, ice coffee for two, you know. And we don't skimp on the ice, sir. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, uh, oh, er, uh, rather quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? Actually, lawyers can defend friends for fam or and family members. It's police and such who can't be involved if they are close to it. Really? Wouldn't that be like a conflict of interest? To Since it's still possible for you to lie for the sake of your family members? I feel like in court, isn't that even more important than be impartial to like... Like... They, they need to be able to stay objective. But yeah, lawyers can defend them. Huh. This, that feels so weird, but... I guess you learn something new every day. <laughs> I object. That was objectionable. Objection of rule. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes. I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're not normally supposed- that you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite. Indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oof. So... Edgeworth? Hmm telling people to withhold information from their testimonies hmm. hmm it's one thing if they're about to say something incredibly like embarrassing and unnecessary like how many warts they have on their foot or something that doesn't really fucking matter in a murder case i repeat edgeworth has no conscience i noticed Duly noted. You fool. 
Mr. Edgeworth, you should be fired and put in jail. I've done it. I've won. Not yet. It's too early to celebrate. With how stupid these guys are, he's gonna come back somehow. Miss April May checked in into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought the room service, brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright, who is this other person? The guy you didn't want any of us to know about. What are you? Some little girl who's 16 years old heard her first time and decided to hide it and like telling her boyfriend to run out the room for like sneak out the house so her parents don't come and get him. Like where are you? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it was the man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. <laughs> Your Honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss May Pearl May was tapping the, vi the victim's phone if Miss May herself had an alibi at the time of a murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of a murder. But my, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. You call this a setup? This isn't a setup because this isn't pre planned. This is breaking apart your arguments from your setup. Too late? I suppose you like it if I, it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oof. Upstart! Amateur! These accusations are ridiculous! Ludicrous! Enough! The court acknowledges the defense of defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all for today for... That is all today for the trial of Maya Fey. Court is adjourned. Adjourned. Jeez, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> September 7th, 2.24pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! Oh, really? I think I might be your newest fan! Oh, I was just doing my job, you know? <laughs> but then again, that other attorney was pretty cool. Huh? The face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It's a shivers down my up my spine. Mm, you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? No, they're gonna extend the whole thing. Um, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. But I got a great lead in today's trial. Wrong voice. <laughs> a lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard that you arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the she's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. I think he was the one who. Maybe so. Yes. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. It's very rare to meet a lawyer that's a good person. I can kind of understand why now. If this, like, this is not how it works, but like, if it worked like this, I would also turn into a bad person eventually. <laughs> I would just be so fucking done with everything. God. The thing is that Edgeworth will lose his badge later, but will get it back. But I don't think he should be a lawyer at all. No, I don't think so as, like, either, because like, he literally prevented m the most important knowledge from being shared in court or tried to and he failed that's the only reason 
that we could do this, like that we could actually find a real suspect. I also have a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow, but now that I have it, I'm not so, so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. Yeah, to be continued. Which means this is the perfect moment to end this stream so we can, like, go... We find someone to raise so we can end the stream, so... Yeah. Gotta keep the episode by episode going. Because I, I kind of like it like that. It lets me do it so it's easy for uploading to YouTube. And also because I'm tired today. <laughs> Gosh. So let's see who is currently live. Oh yeah! And I think I shared this news at the beginning of the stream, but I uh, just wanted to tell everyone that the previous gift on Throne, or like the latest gift on Throne, is uh, it just got sent, so I'm gonna get my little toe... Toe socks <laughs> at any point now, anytime. Hi, tired. Hi, mom. You cannot go to the socks now because they're already done. <laughs> they are. They have been sent, maestro. <clears throat> I mean, mom. <laughs> you stay off my throne. I'm looking for someone to raid. Ah, we have quite a few people. Hmm. Anyone I haven't seen in a while, maybe? Oh, wait. Let's go back to... Pookie is live. That has been a long time. A few things here to do with... No, you stay off. You stay off. Okay, you stay off. Off. Get off my throne. Off my throne. Dang you. Mwah. So, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know... <laughs> You know the condition for that. I stopped calling you, Mom. Well, I could just end the stream. Anyway, everyone, we are going to go raid. Uh. Oh, Grandpa is live! How long has he been live? Or key? I'm, I'm kind of having a hard time choosing. You know what? Let's go raid Grandpa. They're playing Borderlands 2. So say hi to them for me. I need to go grab myself a snack. So yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Starting the raid. Ready? It didn't work. Yeah? Maybe Emperor then? Oh, that works. Okay, so we're raiding Emperor instead of Grandpa because I couldn't raid Grandpa for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone so much for joining. I hope you have an awesome time. And also, you know what? Maestro? Mom, 